The rally for Bali in memory of British tennis star Elena Baltacha brought together current and past tennis stars in an exhibition match on the Ann Jones Centre Court. Tim Henman and Anne Kiothevong paired up to take on James Ward and Martina Navratilova in one of three fundraising exhibition matches taking place at the Aegon tournaments around the country. The former British number one in particular looked to still be in top physical condition. James Ward hitting some unstoppable shots down the line. And the sporting Navratilova was always willing to give a helping hand. Before unleashing her inner McEnroe. Dave. 30 left. <laughs> How can you miss that? 82 miles an hour. And Kiothevong was sidetracked, trying to give Sue Barker a run for her money. Tim's tennis looked a little rusty. So Judy stepped in to dispense some advice. Whatever happens here, it's all about being the better looking team. <laughs> Are we winning that one then? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Martina and Wardy. Martina transformed into a young Boris Becker. The players were a little dehydrated from their exertions and required some mid-set refreshments. Cheers. Well, I wouldn't call it a performance-enhancing drug, that's for sure. Right. <laughs> Occasionally, there was some fine tennis being played, never forgetting that there was a very important cause that had brought everybody together on this day. Like I said, I only have three with me, because these days I don't need that many rackets, so as soon as one button is over, I will mail it. I'll start the bidding. Start, start bidding. bidding? Yeah, 15 pounds. <laughs> We'll do 2,000 over there and a racket over there for 2,000. So we got four grand. Excellent. Almost 5,000 pounds was raised from the auctioning off of Martina and Tim's rackets. The highly entertaining set came to an end with Martina and James the victors. Eight games to six. It was left to the players to reminisce about Elena. She dealt with a lot of adversity in her, in her tennis career and, and uh, she was there. Um, always fighting hard and, and um, that's where I think the support that you've seen from the tennis family and, and, uh, and, and the wider tennis world has, has been fantastic. We've got some of the kids from her academy in Ipswich here with us today and um, you know I know how much it meant to her and um, how, how much she just wanted to introduce tennis to so many kids from different backgrounds. If you ever had the opportunity to see her play on the court remember her fighting spirit and how generous she was.